And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mark Royce. I'll tell you what, these are the days, are they not? Good morning, everybody. What a beautiful day in Detroit, perfect weather for a drive in a Corvette. Better yet, how about 50 Corvettes coming all the way from our tech center in Warren, Michigan. That's exactly what we've been watching this morning. And by the way, the Z06 was hauled by the 2014 North American Truck of the Year, the Chevrolet Silverado. <clears throat> and the Corvette Stingray was the most awarded car in the industry for 2013, winning accolades from Automobile Magazine, Car and Driver, Yahoo and Esquire, and just this morning, the North American Car of the Year. I can't tell how honored we all are to win both Car and Truck of the Year. It is very exciting for everybody at General Motors and our customers. Many of the men and women who made the Stingray such a success have been escorting the new entry in the C7 portfolio down to Corbo Center. So a lot of the people you saw driving, in fact, all the people you saw driving those cars are our employees of the team that made it happen. And it is the most amazing Corvette we have ever built. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the big nasty, the 2015 Corvette Z06. Now the 2015 Corvette Z06 is truly a world-class supercar. It rivals the performance, design, technology, and visceral driving experience of any exotic car. It is our most capable Corvette ever. The very first time we took the new Z06 out on the Milford Road course, it set a new track record, beating even the old ZR1, and you know what that did and the team is just getting started on the development of the car. Seeing it for the first time, you might think that we rolled out the new race car by mistake. That's no coincidence, as the Z06 and the C7R were in fact developed together. As a result, the Z06 creates the most aerodynamic downforce of any production car that we have tested in our wind tunnel at General Motors. The new Z06 is powered by a brand new supercharged 6.2 liter LT4 engine, you can see it over on the wall here, with better than 625 horsepower and more than 635 foot-pounds of torque. An amazing achievement. And the Z06 will be the only car in the U.S. that offers more than 600 horsepower and a choice of two transmissions. The first is our seven-speed manual transmission with active rev matching. The second is an all-new, high-performance, eight-speed automatic designed and built by General Motors. With paddle shift manual control and lightning-fast shifts for track use, plus the convenience of a true automatic for daily driving, this automatic is truly an option without compromise. The Z06 also takes full benefit of all the technologies introduced on our Stingray. Magnetic ride control, electronic limited slip differential, the five-mode drive selector, and, of course, the new performance data recorder. Each one all the more relevant with this car's elevated performance envelope. And, like the Stingray, the new Z06 features an all-aluminum frame that is 60% stiffer than the aluminum frame in the outgoing model. The stiffer structure makes this the first Z06 to offer an open-air driving experience with a standard carbon fiber removable roof panel. This is an amazing car developed by an amazing team of dedicated individuals, a few of them 
that are here with us this morning, so be sure to seek them out after. Paz Jector, our Executive Chief Engineer, Ken Parkinson, our Executive Design Director, and we have a full contingent of representatives from our Bowling Green Assembly plan in Kentucky. And production will begin later this year with delivery starting in early 2015. Now we're showing it today because you'll be seeing other Corvette, another Corvette out there on the circuits somewhat sooner, one that looks a lot like the production Z06. Here to tell you more about it is our new president of General Motors, a great friend of mine with whom I've driven the north course at the ring many times. Ladies and gentlemen, our new president, Mr. Dan Ammon. It's great to be here and what a great day for Chevrolet. Corvette Racing is perhaps the most successful endurance racing program ever. In the American Le Mans series alone, Corvette Racing won 90 races in the last 14 seasons. 54 of those were 1-2 finishes, and that's resulted in 10 manufacturer championships and 10 team championships in that same time frame, making Corvette the most successful team in American Le Mans history. We expect that tradition to continue later this month when the seventh generation Corvette race car makes its competitive debut at the Rolex 24 at Daytona, the first race of the new Tudor United Sports Car Championship. And we want to show you our new car right now. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2014 Corvette C7R race car. The relationship between the Corvette Stingray Z06 and C7R is instantly recognizable. However, the family DNA is more than skin deep. For example, all share a common structure built in our plant in Bowling Green. The race drivers tell us they immediately noticed how the stiffer structure improved the C7R's handling, especially on rough tracks like Sebring. Direct injection on the Z06 allows us to use the same technology on the race car, which gives drivers better throttle control and could save enough fuel over 24 hours to bypass a pit stop. These are crucial minutes saved at the track. The aerodynamic performance of the Z06 is so good that the race team had to do very little to get the downforce they needed on the car. But it's more than that. When you look at these two cars together, you can see the results of continuous technology and engineering transfer between the racing and production teams. What we learn on the track helps us build a better Corvette for the street, which in turn provides a better basis for the next race car. Here in the US, that strategy has made Chevrolet America's favorite line of performance cars and the winningest name in motorsports. In 2013, Chevrolet won the Manufacturer's Championship in NASCAR, IndyCar, American Le Mans, Grand Am, and World Challenge. Chevrolet also accounted for 26%, 26% of all performance cars sold in the US last year. Camaro outsold Mustang for the fourth consecutive year, while Corvette more than doubled the sales of Porsche 911, despite a six-month break in production to launch the Stingray. Our story only gets stronger in 2014 when we'll see our first full year of sales for Corvette, Stingray, and Convertible. Our first full year with the SS Sedan, plus we'll be launching the Camaro Z28 and the Corvette Z06. No other manufacturer will be able to match the breadth of performance cars from Chevrolet. That kind of success on the racetrack and the street helps to drive Chevrolet's performance in the global market. Today, 
I am pleased to announce that under Ellen Beatty's leadership, Chevrolet had yet another year of record sales in 2013, with nearly 5 million vehicles sold worldwide. Of course, of course, we launched several new vehicles in 2013 to contribute to that growth. But we're also striving to deliver technologies and features in every new vehicle that add value and enhance the overall ownership experience for our customers. And that's having an impact on every segment we compete in around the world. So, 2013 was a landmark year for Chevrolet. We had the winningest team in motorsports, we sold more performance cars than anyone else in America, and we sold more vehicles worldwide than, than we ever have in the history of the brand. And this morning, we add the North American car and truck a year to that list of achievements. This makes us all very, very excited for the year ahead. Let's bring back up here my two close colleagues and good friends, Alan Beatty, our new head of North America, Mark Royce, our new head of product development, to join us up here on stage. Thank you all for joining us today, and please come and join us to take a closer look at the Z06 and the C7R race car.